I smell the blood of a blossoming generation of kings and queens willing to be genuine in our generosity and do that which no one else has ever seen by personifying the positive energy of a self-fulfilling inner peace prophecy. Time to spike the drink of this moment's punch bowl with an irresistible urge to rise in love and awaken that sleeping giant of greatness within you from its summer of slumber. Time to awaken that sleeping giant from its summer of slumber because 99.9% of fulfilling our highest possible purpose and potential is showing up. You're almost there. <laughs> showing up and having the confidence to be your most sincere self. Don't you know? Hasn't anyone told you that when you smile like a Christ child in astounded, astronomical amazement, it opens the cosmic candy store doors of our divinity and lets our passion and mischief run in all wild-eyed and stuffing love-laced libido lollipops into our already overflowing pants pockets, bursting at the seams with marshmallow moons and sparkling comet tail pixie sticks. I know the child in you is listening to me now. Right now, I am swinging from a rope of light fastened tight to the cumulus of your consciousness, weaving existence together into a chandelier of new dimensions in reality. With the threads of truth that have unraveled from the finely knit fabric of our former freedom to completely be ourselves. So, let's uncork this catalyst keg of creativity and show the world what's possible when we walk on the water of our fullness and turn these living words into the rolling thunder of celestial wonder and become so intellectually inebriated upon the intimacy of our infinity intertwined in a deeply romantic embrace with our ability to embody our enthusiasm for living. Our ability to embody our enthusiasm for living. While the beloved transforms dandelion daydreams into bioluminescent ice cream covered with Milky Way whipped cream and topped with chocolate covered cherry flavored firecrackers of forgiveness chocolate-covered, cherry-flavored firecrackers of forgiveness exploding in the mouth of the mystery's magic beanstalk of being free, pouring interplanetary pop rocks of potency upon the pages of our playfulness picnic of sharing these golden goose eggs of endless excitement in between crystalline cups of everlasting ecstasy, sweetened with the agave of psychotropic rainbow-lit sugar cubes. Psychotropic rainbow-lit sugar cubes. 
that induce a sudden onset of acknowledging each other's authentic expressions with absolute, unapologetic joy. Absolute, unapologetic joy. Right now, I am opening a wormhole of bewilderment in your independent thought centers, overwhelming impulse of innocence to do away with duality. Break through barriers of separation and boundaries of what we're supposed to be by lip-locking eternity at the speed of love. Lip-locking eternity <laughs> At the speed of love, until the day undresses itself into darkness, and the sky gets drunk on cloud cake and the amethyst ambrosia of time-ripened sunshine, and then begins confessing her affection for us with exotic flowers hand-picked from intergalactic gardens and fashioned into extravagant floral arrangements of constellations, saying, for you, for you, my dear, I gamble everything. Without a thought of win or lose, grateful for the gift of having brushed wings with an angel. Somewhere, Inside the globe theater of our minds, there is a Shakespeare of quantum physics who is always rearticulating lost narratives of who we really are in this sacred heart science, whilst our childhoods can be found mooning each other. Our childhoods can be found mooning each other from across the equatorial hemline and giggling tummy of the earth, saying, see if you can catch me in an extraterrestrial game of kiss tag. See if you can catch me in an extraterrestrial game of kiss tag kicking out stellar dust on the astral planes and causing holy havoc in the headquarters of the heart as we shift our consciousness into the high gear of happiness. Shift our consciousness into the high gear of happiness. The high gear of happiness and hyperdrive our individuality into being the hero of our own story. Aren't you ready to be the hero of your own story? Where we can go skinny dipping in the oceans of opportunity, teeming with the tenderness of your tears, fermented into the currents of celebrating our pain until it becomes <laughs> an ultra-aquatic Hanuman. <laughs> An ultra aquatic Hanuman swinging from kelp vines in an underwater Atlantis filled with stunningly gorgeous phosphorescent mermaids doing weightless beta yoga in slow motion <laughs> and giving your mind full body massages in the manifestation parlor of making the world a better place by living a life of such elegance and grace that it liberates those around us by inviting the child within them to come out of play. Come out of play. Come on, come out and play with the purest parts of your personality that are still wild and undomesticated. Oh, let's be wild and undomesticated. <laughs> Just give yourself permission to climb this dreaming tree of transmutation with me, and we can make out with enchanted understandings of each other's unique qualities. In between sharing starberry bites of the night. 
and the perfectly aged vintage stash of northern lights, bottled aurora borealis. Circa since before the beginning, that the tipsy, evolutionary, loveaholic, revolutionary within you has been waiting for our beloved to break out. Right now, your molecules are making love to the splendor of what will be in a bedboat gondola of gratitude flowing down the Nile River of nerve endings in your veins, stretching through tundras of harmonic frequency where every cell, atom, and organ in your body becomes a mad genius messiah, performing a million miniature miracles per second by way of keeping the bioship of this body going. The bioship of this body going through the Amazonian jungle of perpetuity filled with culturally endangered species of people willing to truly be themselves. Culturally endangered species of people willing to truly be themselves. And scenic split seconds of you smiling. Smiling and giving in to the glory of feeling guiltless and shame-free. So, whatever past wounding debris we're still carrying, don't you think it's time that we drop it off at the landfill of good reason? <laughs> I said, whatever past wounding debris we're carrying... Don't you think it's about time that we drop it off at the landfill of good reason? Where emotional baggage and idealistic inconsistencies are but the challenges that you go through so that you can have empathy upon others when they're in the midst of shedding their old skins that no longer serve our visions of radical nonviolence towards ourselves and each other so that we can have compassion upon others when they're in the midst of shedding inherited behaviors that no longer serve our enlightened expansion. Meanwhile, your DNA is do a little dance, make a little love, and get down tonight. You know the song, get down tonight. On the revolving fifth dimensional discotheque dance floor of this very moment of being reborn into the birthing pools of our 15 billion year infancy, springing from a single seed syllable of sound mouthed as Mother Nature nurturing our every need by breastfeeding our bodies into being and touching us in places that have never been touched before. It's true. Your source energy inhabits this skin temple. But it is also a theme park of pleasure. And sometimes it can become a candlelit bedroom of brilliance where all kinds of carnal desires of clarity and amorous appetites of awareness go to satiate their hunger for experience and expansion. So let's open our clown chakras, shall we? <laughs> our, our clown chakras? Don't they teach that here at the Studio Maui? The clown chakra, which is located in the blood marrow of the funny bone. Because this is the part of the movie of your life where the main characters, all you, decide to give fate a break 
from calling all the shots and gets to sit in the director's chair seat of your destiny's unscripted docudrama style love story set to explore the skin thin contrast between our immortal inner energy and that great uncharted nexus where all expressions of existence merge into a single quintessence that great uncharted nexus where all expressions of existence merge into a single quintessence so let's lay out without clothes on the shores of satisfaction we can take it easy in the tropical paradise of tranquility and treating every being as our beloved because look the universe has provided an all-star cast in the form of you divine rascals to accompany us in this episodic adventure and a whole host of extended earth family swinging like the sweetest swollen fruit of discovery from that fabled forbidden garden variety knowledge of good and evil tree but there is no serpent of fear here just your own beautiful voice echoing off the beat of this heart saying forget all your mistakes of the past forget every reason you have for feeling hurt because everything about you is beautiful everything about you is beautiful and what you did or did not do is just the story that you've repeated to yourself and others for so long that you slipped on the script of being it. You ever do that? <laughs> slipped on the script of being it and hit your heart's head hard on the floor of finding fault in others. Forgetting then that we are all really royalty whose treasure isn't in a kingdom of possessing material things but in sharing in the wealth and riches of each other's unique company the wealth and riches of each other's unique company and i'm sorry to say that as a result of this cataclysmic loss of memory serendipity stopped speaking when you ended up on the outskirts of enlightenment believing your heart to be homeless approaching the windows of passing wondrous with a spiritual squeegee <laughs> approaching the windows of passing wondrous with a spiritual squeegee hoping to catch a few common sense of the inspiration to be the change you wish to see standing on the side of the road of excuses with a cardboard sign that reads why me <laughs> but the physician within has an experimental chemistry set cure for this ancient amnesia and the futurist pharmacist foresees a full recovery after all laughter is the best medicine laughter is the best medicine so just let the comedian of your skin come out and do a set of anecdote jokes about not taking life so seriously especially when things don't go your way or others can't see through to your transparency because the source of creation within you aka your true self chuckles at the thought of giving in to the guilt-guided gossip of others exchanging your birthright of boundlessness for the package of 
following the shepherd of society into the prescribed paths of behavior like a sacrificial lamb. But there is a black sheep within you. And that black sheep is really a wild honey bear in woolen pajamas. <laughs> and is yawning off the sleeping pills of an illusion-induced hibernation. And as always, is ready to break a rule or two in the sweetest way. Especially when it comes to that which the world deems strictly taboo. Like reaching outside of your ego to hug and heal the hurts of another. Or not having to react when people criticize you by falling into the rabbit hole of addictions to anger. Because you know who you really are. A living, love evolutionary legend on the loose. Leaving a trail of mended hearts inside the last supper scene of every commune vacation. The last supper scene of every communication in this commerce of co-equality where the currency is compassion. And the richest among us are those who can see the looks of their loved ones in the eyes of every face. And say and do that for others, which most reserve for so-called friends, family, or members of the right religion or political party. As the leftover of the patriarchy's pointing finger policy. It's time for us to come out of that Stone Age concept of declaring war against our so-called enemies. In a me. Indicating that being quick to cast criticisms has a way of boomeranging. And in an eye for eye, tooth for tooth mentality, throwing verbal stones leaves the whole world feeling blind and toothless. So what do you say we liberate that malnourished refugee of fulfilling our life's dreams from its cages of reckless neglect and into the metamorphosis cocoon to grow new wings by feeding your soul the superfood of personal power until you rise into your fullness and become a source of love whose living example helps the whole world to see, saying, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a blossoming generation of kings and queens willing to be genuine in our generosity and do that which no one else has ever seen by personifying the positive energy of a self-fulfilling Inner peace prophecy. Dreamy Bear. <laughs> yeah. We'd like to thank Dreamy Bear for the lead for coming and doing the one last stop song. We have food outside, prasad, potluck, and maybe Uli can send us out with a song. Ah. Let's uh, go out with. May all beings be happy, uh, but in Sanskrit. So that is Loka Samasta Sukhino Pavantu. And then Shanti Shanti Shanti, which we know what that means. And let's sing it all together. Mm.